and Hi, my name is Vache Sipadian and joining us right now from Glenville Unified School District. She is a board member, Dr. Armina Karpedian, which everyone knows. Thanks for taking time and joining our interview today. How are you doing? Thank you, Vache. Thank you so much. I'm doing well. Great seeing you and thank you for inviting me uh, for, for this interview. I'm really excited to share some great news and what uh, we have been doing at GUSD and serving our students. Of course. So my first question is, can you please give us more information about yourself or the parents who are maybe new to the Glendale Unified School District or the ones who don't know you very well? All right, thank you. Um, so first of all, I'm a parent of uh, three um, beautiful daughters. Uh, all of them have gone through uh, Glendale Unified School District schools. I still have uh, my youngest at Glendale High School. Uh, so I'm still a GUSD parent. Um, and uh, also, uh, most importantly, I serve uh, on the GUSD Board of Education. Um, uh, I've been serving on the board since 2013. So it's been nine years that I've had the great honor of serving uh, our students, our employees, and overall the GUSD community. Uh, I, uh, through these two terms, which the, the eight years, uh, you know, consists of, uh, actually it's nine years because one year where it was extended because of the um, general elections. But uh, during these nine years, uh, I've had the a great honor of serving as board president twice. Uh, so I have gained uh, a lot of knowledge, experience, and, uh, you know, we have gone through some turbulent, uh, you know, time in, uh, in education. So um, it is, it has been very challenging. It has been at the same time, very rewarding. And I'll talk about, you know, some of the challenges that we have gone through uh, during the pandemic. So uh, I'm sure everybody's aware, but it's, it's good to kind of uh, remind ourselves what we have gone through and what we have learned through the process. Uh, other than that, I'm a very active member of this uh, community. I serve on a lot of youth related um, nonprofit organizations. Just to name a few, I serve on the board of uh, Glendale Youth Alliance, uh, where we uh, provide uh, employment for uh, you know, youth who need uh, employment. And uh, I also serve on the Glendale YMCA board. I am actually the vice president uh, on the board. And I also serve on the um, Verdugo Hills Council Boy Scouts of America. Uh, also I serve, which you know, as I said, all the organizations I serve on, they all have to do something with youth. I also serve on an organization, local organization called Heal Within International, where we serve motherless children. Um, and also uh, a member of the Glendale Clean and Beautiful, where Vacha, you might know, we, uh, or we have organized for many, many years um, the, the I Love My Neighborhood Poster Contest. And uh, I had the pleasure of being the chair. Uh, and the finalist photo goes on the Thursday folders in all of our elementary schools. So I've had the pleasure of, uh, you know, serving as the chair committee for that as well. So I've been very, very, very busy, <laughs> but I love it. It's, it's enjoyable, uh, you know, as much time as I can dedicate to our youth, just count me in. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Yes, I actually remember those Thursday folders now that yes. you're- <laughs> So um, my next question is, uh, why are you running for re-election to be the GUSD board member for District C? And also what schools does uh, District C include? Sure. So the district actually, um, it, it kind of entails some school boundaries, but actually board members kind of, some board members share uh, boundaries for schools. So the district election, which uh, you know, we first we had our district uh, election rather than our at-large election happened in 2017, but the boundaries uh, mostly goes through R.D. White, goes to um, Wilson, and then part of John Marshall, and then Verdugo Woodlands, and then right before Fremont, so it doesn't uh, quite get there. And then comes down again, goes through. Oh, also part of you know Glendale High School boundary. So it's not by school boundary, but it's kind of the neighborhood around those schools that uh, you know I I personally serve. 
And that is because I, I live, I mean, the candidate or whoever, the board member needs to live in that district, which I serve on the district C, um, uh, you have to be a resident of that, of, of that, of the area. So um, uh, each district, uh, every district has to have equal number of residents. And uh, uh, that's, you know, as far as I just want to give you some uh, uh, kind of information or background about the district thing, because a lot of people are still confused about uh, the district elections. Um, so, so far, right now, we have five districts in GUSD, and every two years, we will have elections, and three districts will be up for re-election uh, this, this upcoming June. June 7th is the election day. And then the, the other two districts will be up for re-election uh, in two years. So um, I have decided to uh, run to, to seek re-election for this upcoming uh, election. And to be honest with you, this, is, this will be my third term. And I believe, I truly believe that my knowledge and experience throughout this pandemic uh, it really behooves us to have a person who uh, has had experience and knowledge and uh, knows the ins and outs of how, how GUSD operates. Uh, and I'm proud that I have the support of my family, friends, and a whole community uh, that I'm uh, willing to uh, serve for another term, which is four years. And um, that's why I'm running. I have great passion for education. Um, you know, I graduated from, uh, I attended GCC, I went to UCLA, so public education is, I'm an advocate of public education, so uh, it's really uh, near and uh, dear to my heart, and uh, if I have the capability or the time to uh, support our students, uh, I, I, am, I am ready and willing to give all I have uh, for the next term. And you're also the board president, correct? During the COVID-19 I am the immediate past president. Yes, so by uh, every year, the presidency changes. So I'm the immediate past president. Last year, during the most difficult time of education, uh, I led the board uh, as board president. Uh, we had to make very, very uh, crucial decisions, very important decisions for our district, for our students. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been very challenging, but yet uh, it has been a great uh, experience for me as far as how we can you know, pivot from in-person, 100% in-person to 100% uh, remote learning. We all learn how to do, you know, I didn't even know about Zoom. I mean, if uh, it, it's one of those things that we never, we never had that opportunity to create the remote instruction, which is, again, in person, you can never um, have, you know, the same educational modality as well, you know, as effective as in person. But at that time last year that everybody, everything was shut down, including schools, uh, we, we all kind of pivoted into that direction. But I always see some silver lining, you know, under all these challenges as we've, we've gone through. And I'll give you an example. Um, so our district before the pandemic, we had a ratio of one to three. We were going towards one to one ratio for, uh, you know, Chromebooks, uh, connectivity. Some families didn't even have uh, Wi-Fi at their homes. So because of the pandemic, uh, because we had to pivot really quickly in, you know, to uh, remote learning. Uh, now we are one to one ratio. We have provided thousands of Chromebooks. We have provided internet connections, hotspots to families who didn't have uh, internet connections. So because of that, we rapidly changed our technology infrastructures, improved it tremendously so we can provide remote learning as, as precisely and as, uh, um, as well. I, I, I mean, whatever, whatever uh, support that we had, we, we were just able to do that. Every single student was able to connect with their, with their teachers and uh, you know, get their education through Zoom, through uh, remote learning. And I remember during the COVID-19 pandemic, even though the schools were closed there, GOSC was even offering free meals every single day to students, Monday to Friday. 
breakfast. That is correct. That is correct. We never stop serving our students. And thanks to our uh, uh, CSEA and our nutrition department, where they never stopped working. Uh, and they truly are essential workers. And because, you know, a lot of families, a lot of students, they relied on a school meal during the day. So it was very, very crucial for us to continue doing that throughout the pandemic. We never shut down our nutritional department. It just continued on. Thank you so much for sharing. So the election day is June 7, 2022. Speaking of election, Correct. my last question, we are coming to the end of the program is, where can where can people contact you for more information and for donations and if they want to support and help your campaign? Okay, thank you, Vache. Uh, so I just launched my uh, website. It's drarmina 2022com So D R A R M I N A twenty twenty the year twenty twenty dot com, uh, and all the links are there. If anybody uh, who's interested to contact me or uh, email me or uh, you know, donate to the campaign because that's one of the uh, uh, ways that you know, the campaign contributions help the candidates to do voter outreach uh, for uh, materials to be mailed in. So there is a lot of uh, you know, cost to campaigning, but uh, it is important for you know, supporters to contribute, to endorse candidates. So, if uh, and, and and I'm always available. I'm a phone call and an email away. away. Uh, whoever has any questions, any parents or students uh, have any concerns, I'm always available to meet with them. Uh, so I'm I'm very on the ground, you know, working 24/7. So <laughs> uh, I'm always available uh, to serve our students and our families. Thank you so much for taking time and joining our interview and giving lots of information. If there's anything else you'd like to add at this time. No, I just want to encourage parents to always be engaged, be involved. Uh, students, please connect to our, you know, school, uh, student connectedness is very, very important. Vacha, yesterday we had our uh, voice, student voice panel at Glendale High School. And after two years, we had it on the stage at the Glendale Auditorium. It was so wonderful to see the students there, but we always advocate for student voice. So I want you know, to encourage students always speak up if there is any concern, anything that bothers them, anything that we need to hear, please. A student voice is very, very important to us. But don't forget, uh, June 7th is our local election. So uh, please, I, it would be my honor to serve GUSD for another term. Okay, thank you so much for coming and hopefully you'll come back soon before the election and you can give us more updates and more. Thank you, Vache, I really appreciate it. Of course, thank you very much for coming and bye-bye.